Hello, family of faith. Um, I'm excited to be here today with you guys. I have a few messages to translate that I received yesterday. Um, which I received it from one of my other translators. She do tarot. Um, she goes by Evolving Spiritually. But her name is Kayla. And... I don't really know why I watched her yesterday. I just felt like watching her just because she's somebody I actually enjoy learning with. Um, but anyway, as I was watching her, she began to go like into a a raft as into she had ran into a fear base, and it was like once I got. I recognized it was a fear base. I was like, oh my Jesus, how intriguing. Fear fear of somebody trying to sabotage her relationship. And when that came through, it's like I instantly had like a epiphany of a translation to give back to her, uh, which I actually wrote it down. And I actually tweeted about it too because I felt like that was an overall energy. And I was saying, you have to go back straight. Like, she's a person that is of the same sex. She had gotten married to a woman, but she used to be married to a man. But she has evolved better since she's been with a woman, from what she says. And I have experience learning with her in that aspect of. But she has to go back straight. And that it's a fear as into losing something that has bloomed her to learn herself. But Spirit is saying, you have evolved enough in learning yourself. Like, that that lesson for her and other people, that's why I'm sharing it, is to learn yourself. Like, what you want. Like, how... Just to learn what you want and what you deserve and what you're capable of doing. Um... can I explain that aspect? I have to think for a second. But yeah, that's what she was saying. She was saying that people were sliding into her DM, trying to get her attention. And I'm assuming it was guys. It could have been females too. But there is somebody that's going to come that is going to be a guy. And she is going. To, she has to go back. She might not want to because you already got married to a man. It didn't work out. Got married to a woman. You seem to be happy as ever. But I don't know if it's that relationship going to individually of, you know, maybe her spouse might step out on her or something. I'm not honestly sure. I didn't, I didn't receive that far into it. It just was the aspect as into you have to go back straight. It's time to go back straight. Um, but the way that she said people was approaching her was on like a lower vibration energy. And the part that's beautiful for her is that's where you're going to evolve more as into learning that part that you think is low. You know, helping somebody else evolve because you already learned how to be more delicate and how to do certain things. Um, it made me think of this song called, I think his, his name is Music Child and it's called Teach Me How to Love. You have to do that. Like that's part of your life purpose is to do that. It might seem like you're flip-flopping and going backwards, but it's it's something else she explained. I, I wrote notes down, but I feel like I already got it all in my head, but I'm just going to flow with it just because something else she had talked about, she talked about a bird-eye view. Like, she is on a level now where she has a bird-eye view where she can look down at a situation and observe it in a better form of a way to deal with it. Um, that's why it's not actually going backwards. It's just you evolved enough where now you actually have to teach him, but it's of the opposite side where it may not be so pleasant, you know, because she, 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 was, she was highly upset, like approaching me on low energy, sliding my DM, you know, talking about crystals and stuff. She, she didn't enjoy that part. Um, but for somebody else, that might have been what even brought them to her as until they learned 
that how to recognize energy through crystals, you know. So it's like not knocking somebody thinking they're on a lower level or frequency than you. It's learning. That's their love language or communication level. Um, but that's just an example. It's just the way I was meant to give it in that form of way when it comes to that. And I kind of understood it because I kind of speak in that same form of a way. Um, but I have actually stumbled into somebody, which it was actually my uncle. And he was in the crystals. He is in the crystals. He do he deals with crystals. And I got excited by it, but I honestly don't know too much about crystals. I know it's a healing form and things like that, but I, I, I don't honestly know. I don't deal with crystals in that form of a way. So I, I actually would like somebody to teach me that form of a way. But yes, I would like for somebody to teach me about the Bible too, where we have Bible study and things like that. Like, I, I believe it's levels to it, you know, because when I was watching her, she did speak. I see me and my spouse right now, we, we you know, communicate about the Bible. They can't even get past, like, certain chapters because they used to be so stuck in talking about what's going on, you know, which for me, honestly, it's funny because I actually ran into it today. As into an app that's on my phone where I was saying I get prayers and inspiration quotes. There's actually a Bible section in there that reads it to you audio, or you can read it yourself, but I was enjoying the audio part. And I actually started, but I stopped because I literally got stuck on Genesis. And speaking of the light aspect and the dark, it, it, it gave me a bigger perspective as to what that freaking means. Um, which made me get stuck on it. I haven't even went back. I always get, that, that holy book is intriguing to me, yo. It, it reminds me of real life situations and it just gets me. Um, Cause they really do make me think of a man and a woman or two guys or something of that aspect um, when it comes to that light and dark. But, um, so I enjoy all the type of topics too. It's just, that's that aspect. The other aspect was something she said that this is all what got me to go and was, you know, it's, you know how people say it takes a village to raise a family. My, I will say aspiration and inspiration comes by hearing other people speak. It gets a light bulb in me to go and it awakens me to certain things because I also have a bird eye view on things that, how I operate naturally. Which is gonna lead me into what else? The next topic, which is somebody had asked her. Oh Jesus! I wrote it down because I can't remember this one exactly. Well, I had to even go back after I watched it. Like, what the heck did she just say? It was something about your child. Where is it at? I either read it. What is your child meant to learn from you? She explained her aspect, but for me, it, it it sparked something in me as to what is my child meant to learn from me, you know, which I feel like I talked about this before, but it still continued to be a true statement, it seemed like to me, just by how I naturally operate, which is intriguing. So I always say I operate on the eternal side. My guidance always comes from the eternal side, and that energy is an energy as to I am still here. I will still guide you like I operate that same way physically like I'm here you know if you want answers I will get if you want answers I will give them but I'm not forcing it on you I don't force my son to do anything which people probably think you're crazy you're weird that's wrong that's not parenting it's my parenting style it could be a little different but I really see nothing wrong in it for the most part the way I'm speaking on it I the way I'm speaking on it, aspect as into, I'm not meant to force. Thank you for being a friend. Travel down the road. That's my gem. <laughs> but uh, that's my gem. Um, the way the eternal parents operate, they don't force the guidance on you. It's available, but it's not forced on you. And I really operate that way as a parent to my child, as to, I'm always here with you. 
you need I'm here but I'm not forcing it on you um, and I believe that's like the lesson that hasn't to you I'm always with you like I'm always here and with you so people might not think that's good enough everybody life purposes and journeys are different you know even the way she explains it in her aspect there are certain things that reflect in her child's father that she don't like but it's in her child and she's learning how to deal with it which I understand because I have the same aspect where I recognize my son's father in my son and, you know and it gets me some I love it but I do recognize it and sometimes it's just like oh I know where you get this behavior from and it's intriguing you um, it explains his behavior very well <laughs> he, he like to think I'm his servant or something which for me is that that's how it really supposed to be it comes off in a very submissive behavior when it comes to how the female deal with the guy um, and I think I've pretty much explained that quite well I think I did I'm always with you and Certain lessons he has to learn on his own. I, I, I can't, as much as I be honest with him to try to prevent pain or confusion, he has to learn it on his own. And it's intriguing to me because I put myself in a position where it's like, well, I'm going to ride this one out with you. Like Some people will be like, how can I word this? I do the time with him. You know how your child or somebody you love I don't want to say do something wrong. I'm using that example just because. They do something and it puts them in jail. And people say, I wish I could do that time with you, which they really would not. I, I literally do the time with him. And it's intriguing to me personally because it goes off the faith aspect as to I'm always with you. The whole thing is I'm here physically, but it get ignored, which is intriguing. But people really don't think nothing's on the eternal side either, but they're there. They give guidance all the freaking time. It's just, do you want it or not? If not, it just slows things down, but it's, it's available, you know? So I thought that was so intriguing. It made me think, like, about myself and my parenting structure, even when I'm thinking I'm doing it the wrong way. I'm not. My lesson for my family purpose is in that aspect. It's intriguing. Um... And that's something else that got my attention too yesterday. Not yesterday, but my mom had called me the other day. And normally, I wouldn't answer the phone. And I, I'm pretty sure she thought I was not going to answer the phone. Um, but I answered the phone. I, I could tell it caught her off guard. But I actually was excited. I wanted to talk to her, honestly. Um, but first thing she said was, oh, I'm sorry. And that, that had hit a light bulb in my head because one of my other translators was saying, allow people to apologize. You know, don't, don't not allow, don't not allow somebody to apologize to you. Even if you feel like, I don't want to hear it, allow them to. And if you don't want them to apologize to you, then you got some own healing to do with on your own. But... That's what that came off to me as in tea. Like, how so intriguing, you know? And I didn't even feel the need to ask, like, why? It's just like, oh, okay. But she said that she meant to call her supervisor. Uh, we just had to say names. We pretty much she, she didn't mean to call me, which I already knew she was going to say that because my mom's been having a behavior lately where she allows the phone to ring, like, one time, and then she'll hang up. She was doing it with my aunt, but I felt like she just wanted my aunt to call her back. She wanted to know what was going on with me. So she would call my aunt like one time, let the phone ring, and you'd be able to see like, oh, she called, so I'll call her back. She, she pulled that same behavior. I'm not sure why she's doing that, but, well, I think I just explained it, but it just was nice that she apologized. I'm not honestly sure, but I, I, I received it and, you know, I forgive, I always, I forgive her just because it keeps 
things sell in the way it needs to. I, I, I want to work off of no resistance form because resistance slows things down, you know. Um, definitely when it comes to communication. Um, but why I wasn't answering the phones to my mom, I don't know. I got some work I got to do on my own, you know. I have my moments where I feel like I should love her from a distance, but then I always feel like it's my job to nurture and try to repair things, even though I normally get my feelings hurt. But being a mother myself and seeing that my child, my own child, we have a hard time with communication, honestly. My son don't listen to me. It's intriguing. Um, which that's one of the lessons that he, he's going to have to learn a, a hard way, it seemed like, when the people that he looked up to betray him, you know. It's going to take that aspect. And it, it seemed to already be happening, but he's unaware of it, it seemed like. Um, but instead of them, you know, being adults about it and being like, your mother was right, you know, you should listen to her, you know. They just continue to play this form of a way, but want to keep their distance a little bit at the same time as weird. But that's one of the lessons my son has to learn. Um, what else I say there? Communication. I have a hard time with communication with my child. And I'm trying to think how to word it how to connect these two together. Because my mom, I feel like it's her job to chase me more than I chase her, but being a parent and having a child who I love communicating with, I love being honest with and straightforward with and seeing that it's a total wall to it. Like he, he don't prefer that at all. It's the weirdest thing ever. Um, which makes us like total opposites in that form because like I, I, that's exactly what I want that's what I'm seeking from my parent um, so it, it's just figuring a way to navigate it I don't know how to explain it no more than that um, but for me this whole topic is coming in a faith form how it enters of blind spots and confirmation is coming through because it's coming through other people's experiences or that's what it, it seems like it's coming through other people's experience like I have watched something on the news today and they were talking about they was going to be changing social media up in the forms of a way because I guess certain things people post on there and people get all in their feelings a little bit. But I talked about this before as into everything ain't for you, but it is somebody's level of awareness. There's people who really don't be thinking certain things be going on that really be going on, which they need that awareness level to it. Um, that's the beauty of this wonderful platform that we have when it comes to these social medias is being able to share levels of awareness with people. And the ones that get offended by it, it's just, you don't have to entertain it. Move on. Go with to where you evolve at. You know, I know they speak about, you know, social media bullying and things. Everybody have triggers, things that make them feel a certain type of way. That's where you have to do your own self work and realize why are you so bothered by that? You know, um, and a lot of people don't like to do self work, so that's why they get in their feelings and emotions by it. I, I don't think they should remove any of that. It's just don't entertain what hurts you. If that makes sense, because there's plenty platforms and us available that you know you can go forward to for support every that's what it is teachers there's different teachers for everybody 
everybody don't learn from the same teacher, you know. Um, and we're all teachers. I don't care if you got paperwork or not. We're all teachers. We all learn from each other. Um, so just find somewhere that works for you, you know. Um, I'm going to leave it at that aspect. Um, but faith is definitely in that form, as until I said. It takes a village to raise a family. And this, this is what that platform has become available to do. Because your village may not be so close. It might be in a whole other state. It might be overseas. It might be around the corner. You may not actually have it in your home, if that makes sense. Because um, honestly, even the people that I stay with, we always on our phone looking up different things, you know. Everybody has different teachers. Um, where they get their answers to evolve, you know. Which for me, I always say breadcrumbs. It's like, you have to go different places to receive. But... I think that's it in this aspect. I honestly feel like this translation was barely for her, honestly. Which I'm probably going to add her because I feel like I should, but hopefully she watch it. Sometimes people get discouraged when they see so many people don't, people like me who have good content, but they don't have a lot of subscribers or likes. Um, they don't think our page is real, they think it's irrelevant, but it's like, if the message makes sense, receive it, you know? I do what I do because I, I have to. I don't really do it for the subscribers unless, you know, it's beneficial. But it's, that's not what I do it for, if that makes sense. Um, the hype, that's the word. I don't do it for the hype. I do it because I have to. Um, <laughs> I don't do it for the hype. I get myself chuggles. But thank you, Spirit. It's the hype. I don't do it for the hype. Um clarity. I do it for clarity. Um, making sure I got everything out that I needed. Oh, that's what I was saying. Pardon me. I really believe that this translation, I'm going to just speak like I'm speaking to you, just in case you know you do tune into it, because this video has been only 22 minutes, not bad. Hopefully you don't get offended by this, thinking I'm trying to sabotage your relationship because that's not what I'm trying to do. I'm just like you. I'm here to be straightforward and fill in blind spots or answers. But if it's not, maybe my mind just got sparked to share this in a bird aspect, a bird view aspect also for things that's going on for other people, to translate for other people, pardon me. But, as I was saying, you have to go back straight. You have learned enough within being with the same gender where you have to detach. But that, that's where a fear base is coming at. So you don't want to detach because that's what have made you happy. That's what have bloomed you. And that's where it gets real touchy and triggery because things may be going well honestly and this is like this energies feel like either you know it's time and it's saying yes go straight or something is going to happen within that foundation and it's okay to start over and when you start over it's going to be with a guy that you're gonna have to teach. And it's intriguing also because in that aspect, she has a daughter and she did say that there's certain things within her child that reflects her father that she don't understand. But it's like, once you, and she explains some things about her too, honestly. She, she's a shared machine, just like me. She, she don't mind speaking on things that she experienced and go through, which that's why I love her a lot. Because um, I, I can resonate with that. But 
it actually helps to deal with your child also when you learn yourself if that makes sense sometimes people can learn themselves on their own or they have to get into that type of relationship to learn they self to be able to do better within the child aspect if that makes sense but spirit also said it's time to bloom so she's gonna pop some more babies out you I'm not saying you cannot have kids with the same I'm not saying that you cannot still have kids within the same gender but in this aspect is it's definitely you're, you're going the, the opposite way back straight with a guy and it's bloom time she's gonna have more kids for sure um, which is actually funny because today I learned that Ash Wednesday is coming up and I looked it up because I heard of Ash Wednesday before but I actually honestly didn't know what it was uh, so I looked it up and I learned it was a Catholic aspect um, but I feel like that's an all people's aspect honestly as soon as I heard it the way he was explaining it about people wearing ashes on their head or on their face like he kept pointing right here like they put ashes on their face I did it like a cross but for me it took me into a dying being reborn energy like it makes me say we are ashes ashes dust to dust I have done this work. Spirit already talked to me about this aspect, um, which that goes to reproduction time, producing. That intercourse, you're, you're definitely going to begin to bloom. It's that same energy as to this bloom time. Um, people like to say, be fruitful and multiply. Uh, I use that aspect, but I look at that in a different form, but it's that time when it comes to the ash part is an eternal welcoming. You're, you're welcoming energy back that you already are, if that makes sense. So I think it goes very well with the translation that I knew I was gonna be translating today because these notes came to me last night for downloads, information. I don't know how to exactly explain it, but it's what I was meant to share and translate today for whoever needs it. Um, so I have spoken. <laughs>